What's up y'all, Alvin here. And the way I see it, you got five different phases on your fly fishing journey. And the best thing about it is you never actually finish. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, so today's video is sponsored by Freedom Solar Power. We'll talk about them a little bit later in the video. So let's get into it. Phase one. Phase one is all about the first. So the biggest first usually for most people is the first fish that you catch on the fly. Super exciting. I mean, maybe the most exciting part of your fly fishing journey is that first fish on the fly. But there's a lot of other firsts as well. So, you know, the first fish on a fly that you tied, the first fish of a particular species, or, you know, even the first fish in a destination that you've never been to before. So the first phase is all about the first, kind of the thing that just kind of gets you into fly fishing, the kind of thing that makes you want to do it more. You feel like you've been successful. Fly fishing is not easy, especially at the very beginning. And the fact that you've accomplished that first is a really important part of everybody's fly fishing journey. Phase one, all about the first. <laughs> Phase two is typically all about the numbers. So you've caught that first fish, now you wanna catch that second fish, third fish, fourth fish, fifth fish. You wanna go out and catch a lot of fish. So the first time you went out, you were super excited just to put that one fish in the net uh, or the first fish that you caught on a fly that you tied. So next time you go out, you wanna catch a few more fish. You wanna catch fish on several different flies that you've tied. You want to go to your favorite lake and you know catch 10 fish instead of the two fish that you caught before. So phase two is all about the numbers. You know, it's, it's, it's really sort of the part that, that gets you hooked because once you feel confident that you can go out and actually catch fish you know like it's not just like hopefully i get one it's a great day if i don't get skunked and you know i still have those days as well you know sometimes one fish is a lot of fish for the conditions or or whatever but really phase two is all about the numbers and and at this point once you get into phase two once you start catching a lot of fish that is typically where I'm gonna say you are hooked. <laughs> no pun intended, you're hooked. So that continued success really makes you want to do it even more. Phase two, all about the numbers. Okay, so you with me so far. A Couple of things I'm gonna ask you to do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. That really does help me out. There's, there's a lot of things you can do to help me out Another thing would be to sign up for my email list. There's a link in the description for that. I'm also building a fly fishing course. You can sign up for that. There's already one section of it that's live. I'll leave a link to that as well. Another thing you can do to help me out is to check out Freedom Solar Power. My wife and I have thought a while about getting solar power at our house. And thanks to the fine folks at Freedom Solar, we have got solar panels installed and we are making our own electricity. So if you are curious about solar power, I got a couple of things for you. There's another link in the description to Freedom Solar Power. And if you do decide to get solar panels at your house, I got a little bonus for you. Freedom Solar Power is going to give you credit for a guided fly fishing trip with myself or one of the other guides at All Water Guides for up to a thousand dollars. So that will cover any trip that we do, fresh or salt water. Check that link out in the description and I want to thank Freedom Solar Power for sponsoring this video. All right, 
what is phase number three? <laughs> phase number three is all about that one fish. There's been stories about that one fish. There's been movies about that one fish, but it really is sort of where you get this obsession where you just want to catch this one particular fish, whether it's that big fish, Walter, that broke you off in the pond that you've seen multiple times that you can't get in the net, or whether it's some exotic destination that you want to travel to to catch one specific fish. For me, going to the Seychelles and catching a GT was one of those one fish moments for me. Most people after a while have that one fish. It may be a giant tarpon, it may be a permit, it may be a particular species of trout, but phase four is all about that one fish. And we all have heard the stories. A lot of us have our own stories. And if you keep on this journey, eventually you will have that one fish. Like I said, for me, it was the GT in the Seychelles and I got it. And it was definitely a moment that I'll never forget that first one. All right, so phase five, the final phase in your journey as a fly angler, right? You know, once you get to phase five, it's all over. <laughs> the thing is phase five, is the reason why you're never actually finished. Phase five is where I feel like I am most days, and that is you're just happy to be there. You're just excited about being on the water, whether it's solo and it's a zen moment where you can just let all of your troubles, all of your cares just melt away and be out there on the water. Maybe you catch some fish, maybe you don't catch any fish. It could be just spending time with your favorite fishing buddies. It could be just the location that you're in, but you get to the point to where the catching really does not matter. The catching is great. And I'm not gonna say there's any time I've ever gone out on the water and didn't want to catch a fish, but there's been plenty of times when I've been out on the water and I didn't catch fish and I had just as good a time. Now, that's phase five. But at the beginning I said, you know, the journey never ends. And the thing is, is just because you've gotten to that phase five, I'm just happy to be here point you still will continue to go through the entire process. You know, uh, I go through the phase one process every time I come up with a new fly and I don't know whether it's gonna work or not and I catch a fish on my new fly and I'm back to phase one. <laughs> I wanna keep the process going. All right, so I wanna catch multiple fish on my new fly. I wanna catch a big fish on my new fly. I wanna catch one particular fish on my new fly. Uh, so like I said at the beginning, the journey never ends. And that's one of the great things about fly fishing. You can be a total beginner and get so much excitement out of it. I've been doing it for 48 years now and every day I go out and I have some sort of exciting moment, even if it's just a moment of being calm and being still and enjoying where I'm at and what I'm doing and who I'm around. So the journey never ends. And that's one of the great things about fly fishing. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. <laughs> like I said earlier, if you did, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.